In this video, I'm going to verify Stokes' theorem for the field F, which is equal to yi minus xj, where S is uh, the hemisphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 9, where z is greater than or equal to 0, with C being the curve x squared plus y squared is equal to 9, z equals to 0. So we are given that F, that hemisphere, and uh, that uh, curve C. Stokes theorem states that if S is a piecewise smooth surface having a piecewise smooth boundary C, then the integral of F dot dr along the closed curve C in the positive direction is equal to the double integral over the surface S of a grad cross F dot n multiplied by d sigma. At the R there is equal to dxi plus a dyj. So I can substitute this F this dr into this uh, integral which is on the left there so we def uh, the integral of f dot dr along the closed curve c in the positive direction is equals to uh, the integral of yi minus xj dot dxi plus dyj and when you take that dot product there multiply the corresponding elements of the i and those of the j and we def uh, the integral over the closed curve c of y dx minus x dy. So we have our f dot r there. Our curve c is uh, this one there, x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. Uh, this is a circle centered at the origin with radius uh, 3. So I will sketch that uh, curve there. So I will put my x axis, my y axis, and then uh, and the z axis. Then I write the equation of uh, that circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. An equation centered at the origin with a radius 3. So I will sketch that there, the circle, and uh, we are looking at the positive orientation there. So the curve C there is uh, terms x squared plus y squared is equal to 3 squared. It is convenient to use our polar coordinates where we have our r there being equals to 3. So using polar coordinates we def x is equals to 3 cosine theta, y is equals to 3 sine theta. I will now go on and differentiate this with respect to theta and we will have the derivative of x with respect to theta is minus 3 sine theta. I differentiate this equation with respect to theta and we will have the derivative of y with respect to theta is equals to 3 cosine theta. From this equation here, we can uh, find our dx and we def dx is equals to minus 3 sine theta d theta. From this equation, we can find our dy and we def our dy is equals to 3 cosine theta and d theta. And this is a circle, so our theta is varying from 0 to 2 pi. So now we can now go on and substitute uh, this information that we have just found, the x, the y, the dx, and the dy into this uh, integral there and we'll define the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 3 sine theta multiplied by minus 3 sine theta d theta minus 3 cosine theta times 3 cosine theta d theta. We can then go on and simplify that to the integral from 0 to 2 pi of minus sine squared theta d theta minus 9 cosine squared theta d theta. We can see here that there is a minus 9 which is common. We can factor it out. Then we have minus 9 multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2 pi sine squared theta cosine squared theta at d theta. So that's the integral that we are having there. But this sine squared theta cosine squared theta is a 1. So our integral will simplify to minus 9 the integral from 0 to 2 pi d theta. And the integral at d theta there it will give us a theta. Then when you put the limits, 0 to 2 pi would remain with a, a 2 pi. The 2 pi multiplied by this 9, and our result there will be minus 18 pi. So what we are having there is uh, the integral of f dot dr along the closed curve c is equal to minus 18 pi. So we are done with that one. We now go on and look at uh, uh, the surface S, the S squared plus Y squared plus Z squared is equal to 9. I can sketch that here. So that's the hemisphere that we are having. Label it an S. And uh, the unit normal to the region enclosed by the curve C will be a K. 
because we are saying that the KFC there is uh, on the xy plane. So the normal to the xy plane is uh, of the vector k there. So we we'll have our k there and our label with a k. And the unit normal to the surface uh, s, we'll call it an n. So I'll put my unit normal there and uh, label it at the end. At the end, that unit normal is uh, given by the grad of uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared divided by the norm of grad of x squared plus y squared divided by z squared. So we can uh, simplify that to the numerator there, that will be 2xi plus 2yj plus 2zk. And that's the gradient of a scalar field. And uh, for the denominator, we'll be having the square root of uh, 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 2z squared. And uh, we can then go on and simplify that to 2xi plus 2yj plus 2zk divided by the square root of 4 multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus z squared. But looking uh, under the square root sign there, we have a 4. A 4, when you take a square root, it will give us a 2. So that 2 will cancel out these 2s. Then we'll look at this part there, where we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared. From this equation here, we are having x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 9. So on this part here, we'll be having a 9. So what will remain is this square root of 9, square root of 9, which gives us a 3. So that will simplify to xi plus yj plus zk divided by 3. So that's our unit normal to the surface there. We now go on and evaluate that double integral over the surface S of grad cross F dot N dot D sigma. For grad cross F there, we are looking at uh, our F, which is uh, yi minus xj. So whatever um, the determinant of uh, i, j, k, then we put our grad partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, partial derivative with respect to z, and then the components y minus x, then a zero. And that determinant there, when you simplify it, it will give us minus 2k. Then I can go on and evaluate grad cross f dot m. So the dot, that dot product will give us minus 2k dot xi plus yj plus zk divided by 3. So when you are taking uh, the dot product to multiply the corresponding elements there, for this part there we don't have an i and a j, so there will be zeros. So what we'll just do is multiply where we have the k there, and it will simplify to minus a uh, 2z divided by 3. So that's a uh, grad cross f dot m. So we can now move on to looking at uh, the, the unit normal to the region R there. The region bounded by the KF is this one, which is a, it's a K. So we evaluate our D sigma. Our D sigma there will be grad of uh, the scalar field X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared, the left hand side of uh, this equation there. So therefore the sigma there is grad x squared plus y squared plus z squared divided by the norm of grad of x squared plus y squared plus z squared and dot k d a. And for the grad of x squared plus y squared plus z squared is 2xi plus 2yj plus 2zk. So that's our grad. And uh, in the denominator there, we'll be having that grad dot k. So I can now go on and evaluate the norm of uh, the 2xi plus 2yj plus 2zk. So we have the norm of 2xi plus 2yj plus 2zk. And that norm there, it will give us the square root of uh, 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 4z squared. The 4 is common, we can factor it out, and when you take the square root, it will give us a 2. So we have 2 multiplied by the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. But we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared. From this equation, it's a 9. So we have square root of 9. Square root of 9 is a 3. So it will be 2 times 3, and it will give us a 6. So that's what we are having in the numerator there. Here, it will be a 6. And in the denominator here, 
we are taking the dot product of this part and this part. For this part there, we don't have the i and the j. So we just multiply the corresponding elements of the k here and here. So we just remain with the 2z there. So what we'll be having is uh, 6 divided by 2z. So we would remain with 3 divided by z dA. So that's our the sigma there. So we can now go on and uh, substitute what we found here into on the integral there over the surface S. And we would get that that integral is equal to the double integral over the region R of minus 2z divided by 3 times 3 divided by z dA. The region R is this one, the region bounded by that curve there. Because we are saying R is the area of uh, the circle x squared plus y squared is equals to 9. And uh, we can simplify that uh, double integral there. Both uh, this 3 and this 3, they will cancel out. Then the z and the z will cancel out here. So would remain at the double integral over the region R of minus 2 dA. Minus 2 is a constant there, so you can factor it out and you would have minus 2 multiplied by the double integral over the region R and the A. That integral over the region R is uh, the area of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. And the radius of that circle is a 3. And we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So in this case, the r is 3. The 3 squared it gives us a 9. So that area there will be 9 pi. So the 9 pi multiplied by this minus 2 and it will give us minus 18 pi. So what we are having there is uh, that integral there is equals to minus 18 pi. So what we are seeing there, these uh, two integrals, that line integral and uh, the integral of uh, that surface, they are both equal to minus 18. So we have uh, shown that there, that the integral of uh, the KFC of f dot dr is equals to the double integral over the surface s of a grad cross f dot d sigma.